All right, the basics of iMotion. So here down here in my bottom, I've got the little camera icon, the little stopwatch. That's my iMotion, so I'm gonna go ahead and load that up. And this is how to start this thing up. So I'm gonna go to new movie. Don't want to do that now. We've got a couple of options. We got manual, remoted, import. We want to do manual. Don't do time lapse because that's going to do a whole bunch of photos. Boom, 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 boom. And you want to be able to control that. Okay, so we're on manual. All right, you can come in here, put your movie title in. Like I'll do test one. And then I'm going to go ahead and start. So make sure you're not moving this around. So. First thing I want to do, there's the cancel, capture, and display at the bottom. So I'm going to hit display, and I'm going to go up to the shadow effect. Okay, you can actually put on the grid, so there's like a portrait, or you can do the little thing as well. Sometimes the grid will kind of help you out a little bit, but I definitely want this shadow on when it looks like that is on. That way, what's going to happen is when you take an image, you are going to see the previous image in kind of a ghost or shadow effect. All right, movement and transitions. We're gonna start out with movement. So I just have my little figure person here. You can do any kind of a thing. You can do movement of a coin or a rock or a minifigure or a piece of clay or whatever you want, anything that's fairly small. Otherwise, you kind of have to hold it up. And I'm just gonna be moving it. So I'm gonna take little movements and so I have my capture or I have my uh, shadow effect on there and I'm just gonna hit capture and then I'm gonna move it slightly I'm just using little motions. Now I'm gonna start making some bigger motions through the middle here. And then I'm gonna slow it down and make some smaller motions near the end. Turn. And once I'm finished, you'll see that the smaller motions I have, the more fluid it's going to be. One of the things you have to make sure that you're paying attention to, besides the small motions, is making sure that your hands or not in, because I've got my hand here, I don't want my hand in, in the frame. But also, sometimes this has to readjust for focus. So now I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. And to sort of come to a slower halt, I kind of end the motion with just little tiny movements. Okay, stop. Hit stop again or tap to confirm. And I can see how that went, that sort of sped up and then slowed way down. And there's a couple times in there when it was a little blurry, so I need to make sure that I am waiting so the camera can refocus before I start again and taking my pictures. But that's a pretty good rendition of my movement of my little person across the page.